Hey YouTube! So I'm here to record a video review for Thicker Than Water Season 3 Episode 4 titled Oh Baby. Title Oh Baby because babies born and unborn um, seems to be um, the theme of this week's episode. Um, we do see that Ben and Shanara, 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 Shanara. Okay. Well, Ben and Shannara, I'm going to call her Shannara. It might be Shannara, but I'm going to call her Shannara. Ben and Shannara, they, of course, she's pregnant and they're having a baby shower. Jewel is helping her plan the baby shower and the accent color is, drumroll please, pink. They're having a girl, which Jewel is extremely excited about. Okay, so they have a baby shower, um, which is great. Um, when they need like advice as far as parenting and things like that they go to Marcus um, so Ben really looks up to Marcus another person that looks up to Marcus would be Brittany so Brittany and Marcus they used to have like a rocky relationship well they fixed all that last season so now they're going on like a hike or some type of exercise this episode and she reveals to him that she wants to have a baby now she doesn't have a candidate <laughs> like she doesn't have any male in her life or anything, but, you know, she's just tired of it. She don't even want to do it the old-fashioned way. She she wants to go to your local sperm bank, and she wants to just, you know, pick out the best traits and get her done. And Marcus, he kind of, he doesn't want to tell her what to do, but he's like, hey, it's a lot. And I can say myself, like, it's me and my husband, but it is, like, the biggest headache like sometimes you just need a break it really does take two it takes two to make the baby and it takes two to take care of the baby and so the single mothers and fathers out there that are doing it themselves kudos to you because i don't know how you do it because i would have lost my mind by now but kudos to you i don't think there's a lot of people just like signing up ready and willing to be single mothers but Brittany. She is, so she's considering it, and she has not told anybody else in the family about it at this point. Okay, well, now, I don't know if there's anything else I'm missing out on. Oh, um, what's her face? Brooklyn. So, Brooklyn is talking to um, her siblings, I believe Marcus, because they all, all talk to Marcus, and she's basically talking about how, you know, she's just like a little hurt behind some of the events that have occurred in her life behind her father. So, for instance, he's not supportive of her music career. When she first um, was starting her whole hair business, she had um, a hair show, and he kind of had somewhat negative comments to say about that. He says, is this a fashion show? Is this a hair show? Kind of just seems like he doubts her a lot from her point of view. And what I'm picking up on it um, from is that Brooklyn is very bitter because maybe she missed out on some very important childhood years with him where she needed him and she needed his love and support and realistically he's not going to agree with every single thing she does right now. He's not even going to be in support of every single thing if he doesn't believe that that's best for her right now at this point in her life. With that being said, I don't think Brooklyn sees any of that. She just wants her father to just support and be the number one cheerleader and the number one supporter of every single thing she does because she can't take rejection from her father. I think her father not being present in her life for so many years, that was like a form of rejection for her from her father. It's like they have this love-hate relationship and it's like so sad watching this show sometimes because yes i commend them for being able to deal with family issues you know publicly but i, I get a little nervous because it seems as if this could break them and you know maybe some people get a little bit more emotional in front of the camera or maybe something she would not have discussed with him or she wouldn't express her feelings about had they not been put in this situation where they have to talk things out on camera. So I don't know what type of effect that will have on him because he could feel like he's being attacked nationally on TV or as far as her, you know, she's basically like 
pouring out her feelings and I don't know if she's receiving backlash or whatever the case, but I feel like it's a lot to deal with on this public platform. And I, I just get scared at moments like this could really be bad. Some things that are said cannot be like undone or you can't take them back, especially when this is recorded and you can go back and watch it at any point. They might be at a completely different point in their life now, but when they're watching this on TV, it's like they're reliving that moment and their family. So, you know, I'm, I'm a little iffy about that. But anyways, moving on from that, let's get to the meat of the episode, which came at the very end, which would be the argument between Shannara Marcus and Tish. So, of course, everybody agrees Tish is very stingy with her baby. This is the first baby she's ever had. Now, I can agree with her to an extent because a lot of people would say that I was stingy with my first baby. Then I had my second baby and I was like, here, take them. But anyways, um, so I understand her to an extent. I say to an extent because it seems as if every time somebody's holding the baby, they're not holding the baby for that long. I don't know if they have too much of a connection with the baby because every single time they're interacting with the baby, she's right there. So I guess Shannara wanted to express her feelings about that and how that made her feel and how basically when she has her, when she has her baby, at least people will be able to watch her baby and hold her baby. And the whole argument started out with um, um, Ben Tankard, the dad, actually saying something about them being stingy. And then Shannara, she just piggybacked off of that and she went into further detail. Well, then at that point, Marcus and Tish began to like kind of attack Shannara. And that's just her opinion, but she's saying everybody else feels this way as well. Just everybody's scared to say it. And it even woke Ben up out of his sleep because they were arguing about it. And he's like, hey, 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 like we all need to calm down. And they're getting extremely emotional about it. Now, sometimes as first time, with them being first time parents, I think that some people just have to be patient with them. Because I think that in the mind of a first time parent, this is like a gift that God has given you. And you have to protect this gift at all times. You are responsible for this life. And being that Tish never met her father and Marcus, his father, didn't come into his life until years later and their relationship is just now improving, they're very protective of their son and their relationship with him, even at a young age, and they're very much so attached to him. With that being said, they are going to have to move past that. I think it's going to take a compromise because these are your family. These are people you're supposed to trust. I understand them not having their dad watch the baby because their dad said, hey, I don't change diapers. Okay, well, my kid's not going to get a diaper rash, so you're probably not going to be able to watch the baby. But I just... I feel like they're going to have to be a little bit more, you know, um, compromising and being able to share the baby and letting other people bond with the baby and not so much hovering over the baby. Now, the baby at this point is over six months old. I would completely understand that in the beginning, completely. But the baby is getting older the baby, you know, should be able to sit up on its own. There's just going to have to be some type of compromise because you don't want people to just completely just kind of like turn away from your baby because you're going to feel some type of way when Shannara has her baby and everybody is bonding with her baby, yet you're wondering why nobody acts that way with your baby. At the same time, clearly they need to sit down and communicate and have a conversation about this because... Marcus, out of anger, he said, oh, you want to watch my baby, but y'all haven't bought my baby nothing in the first six months of his life. Those are the things that he's harboring inside. He feels like, well, you couldn't even do anything for him, yet you want to watch him. So clearly that's bothering him. And that wouldn't have even come up in conversation had it not already been on his mind. So I think those are things that they really just need to discuss. Or maybe, what do I expect out of you as an aunt or as an uncle? And it's really affecting me because the baby doesn't know that they that they haven't bought the baby anything, but clearly it's affecting the parents. So I think they should sit down and they should communicate about that. Um, but whatever the case, I know that they will get past it next week. I'm not looking forward to because there will be drama with Brooklyn and her dad and they both seem genuinely hurt, but I will be here to review it.
So, with that being said, please like, comment, and subscribe, and check me out at mrsblogaholic.com.